What's up guys, we are back once again and we are going to be talking about the first part finale of the Bad Batch of Season 1. And if you guys don't already know, we are getting a Season 2. Now, again, this was a very interesting episode because a lot of things that was kind of wondering, I did not know exactly how it was going to go in some areas. And when I say that is where we see where Crosshair returns with Hunter to Camino after stating that of course you know your squad's gonna follow you and we go back to the plane of course that the boys have been on and when we see this we see that of course Omega is in a hurry to try to return Hunter to the gang but when this happens it's actually rather crazy because when they arrive on Camino Camino looks like a ghost town because everyone that was important to the Empire, or so-called important to them. They have removed them from Camino, meaning any kind of soldiers, scientists, anyone that remained. And when everyone returns to Camino, we see where, of course, Crosshair and Hunter kind of gets get into this feud again, stating that Crosshair never really had a choice because when they left them they said that they didn't have a choice and crosshair makes a comment saying you think i did so kind of gives you the a little bit of an early peek of what crosshair means and then omega comes with this idea of okay we go to a secret part of the facility if you go low enough to the water a platform comes up and you have to sit down on it and it takes you underwater and it takes you to a secret facility only her and a few others knew about and when they go into this facility we see where Omega reveals that this is where she was born tank bred just like the rest of uh, Clone Force 99 and they're looking like is this true and you even see tech where it's like hey I don't know and she says this is before that they went to the regular clones so they were genetically enhanced they weren't a wrongdoing they were just they were initially genetically enhanced not as what everyone else believed that they were just a mistake and that they're good because of their defectiveness. So goes in more to the fact of her trying them all trying to find Hunter. They find A Z, the one that of course uh, Omega knows and we all realize and she realizes that he was hiding in that facility due to they informed that everybody was removed. Droids was killed as well as anybody else was killed. So we see of course TK clone uh, TK stormtroopers have taken over the facility and Crosshair and his a little militia that he is commanding is looking for his brothers and they come up with an idea of this is what we're gonna do we got to go to the training platform and if he does then this is where Crosshair is gonna find us and when this happens Crosshair is definitely waiting for all of them and of course he has everybody else around them and we go through back and forth where we have this conversation with Crosshair as well as Hunter stating that again this is not who you are and you need to go ahead and just give up and join us and have purpose again and leave the kids you know what's going to be the point of still being with her is just going to be on the run around criminals and even when he kind of tells his troopers to stand down they don't because one of them starts looking for the kid and when he does he actually shoots them this is what's weird as soon as they reject his command to stand down he shoots all four of them giving Hunter the purpose that supposedly that he has to join him with the Empire. And when this happens, of course, Hunter declines and Omega is busy trying to get the uh, training droids ready to help out. But as soon as this happens, everything kind of goes crazy to the point of when this happens, they all start fighting and the droids just kind of take over and they just start shooting everywhere and of course AZ is able to help Omega and be able to uh, take care of one of the troopers and when this happens we see where Crosshair actually joins the gang to start helping fight off the droids and even when Hunter and him are still fighting they're still trying to help and when this happens we see where Hunter as well as Crosshair even come up with a uh, Conversate another conversation stating that it is not you. It's the it's the uh, inhibitor chip and Crosshair reveals 
he got his inhibitor chip out a long time ago. And he looks at him like, when? He's like, well, does it matter? And he says, yeah, it does. So, obviously, he did have it out at some point. We just don't know when. And my best guess would be probably when he got burned is probably my best guess because with all that probably radiation and all the burn scars that he did have from uh that episode where they were trying to get theirs removed maybe that's what happened i, I don't know but overall they do come up with a conclusion where he says i'm not basically hunter in the gang is not gonna be joining the empire and when crosshair looks like he's about ready to shoot him that's when of course uh hunter phases him out and shoots him but then of course the last trooper she goes on to the uh, transport stating that of course Crosshair's mission failed and when they go back up to the ship uh, he, uh, the uh, one that we know that has been leading of course the Empire as of this moment but then we see Admiral Tarkin talking to him stating that they got all personnel on board as well as also making sure that basically just make sure all the clones die together the ones that are left on Camino. We see three massive star cruisers and they just start firing upon the facility while Hunter and everybody else while taking crosshair are trying to escape the facility and we see where everything's just being destroyed. Nobody's left, everything's being destroyed and as soon as they get outside that's when they see everything just start being destroyed and when this happens we see that they just turn around and it almost looks like a good portion of the facility has just been engulfed into the water and that's how the episode ends now again we are getting season two what i'm predicting is something's going to happen to where crosshair is either going to risk his life maybe to help his brothers survive or do something to help help them one way or another kind of curious on what's exactly going to happen until next week again we got one more episode left and then it's going to be the end of the bad batch for friday reviews for you guys but of course there'll be other uh topics that i'm going to be talking about on the channel but overall i really did like this episode i think this episode was a lot better than the uh previous episodes that we have been given as of late i think that this is actually helping the show and with something like this actually makes the show 10 times better than again what we've received can't wait for the finale I think the finale is going to be uh, really intense. I think it's probably going to be uh, a little heartbreaking from different things that I've read. But again, there's only one way to know. But overall, did enjoy the episode. What did you guys think about it? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you hate it? Was it okay? What were your thoughts about it? I'd personally like to know down in the comments down below if you guys need a channel to subscribing. Leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Also, click notifications to get notified to my upload. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys on the very next one.